Let us watch this clip. God's general evangelist of the grove was in the synagogue church of all nations. Even as he went to the synagogue church of all nations, he carried invitation items. And Jesus told me today, let them watch. So that by the time they are carrying this master key, they will believe that invitation is transferable. God's general, A.A. A. Allen, was a father and a spiritual father, the mentor and the prophet of God's general, C.S. of the Grove. Watch. And so that you don't think it's strange when I talk about my father in the Lord now and then. A grandfather, a God's general, is speaking about A. A. Allen after the end of the, of the small clip. After that clip, prepare your heart. Because familiarity must end. He's speaking about the kind of glory. Inside there, praise the Lord, hallelujah. At the end of it, he's speaking about the fire and the chariots of fire that took Elijah that were present. Today is not a normal service. Today is today. Today is today. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Did my father in the Lord go to heaven, I saw him and the star came over me and the chi is here. After that clip, praise the Lord, Amen. all of you will receive your prophetic chi. And it is called God's General's Master Chi. It is called the Global Oracle Prophetic Chi. It has to work for you. Are you ready to watch the clip? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now watch it. Because he's speaking about the Shekinah glory, which is in this sanctuary. After this clip, I will, I will give you, I have a package. I have a package in the Holy of Holies. The pulpit there is a package for you. Enjoy your clip. Leo Maschini in a hammer. Yeah. Shetani appende as he pende. Hakuna umaskini imesha furai ya pinadamu haifurai mungu ata kidogo. In a hammer. Yeah. Lift your hands up. Kari ni kitu kidogo sana uendeshe. Uneendeshe kari mwaka hii kwa china la isu. Kari ni kitu kidogo. Kari ni kitu kidogo sana. Weka mkono chini. Inuwa mikono chuu tena. Wewe china lagu kuingia kwa soil ya Kenya. Na title deed is your portion. This year you must own land. In your village. You must own that plot. Kila mutu anunue shamba. Hii mwaka. Nunue shamba kwa china la Yesu Christo. Appreciate Jesus. I am, I am a two-year-old child. I am just but a two-year-old child of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Nachukia umaskini. Nachukia umaskini. Nachukia kabisha kabisha. That is why watu wakikutana na mimi lasima watajirike. Hakuna umaskini na sifu mungu. Hakuna. Mungu wetu si maskini. Mungu wetu si maskini. We don't serve a poor God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome our Father. Uh, your wish, sir. Thank you.
Wow. Wow. Looking at our father, you know, is our grandfather. I, I, don't, I'm not, I will not stand here as a, as a boy and begin to introduce grandpa. Let, let grandpa talk. Let's hear. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. I am Evangelist C.S. Up the Grove from the United States of America. And I want to thank God for the privilege of being here in Africa for the first time. A global evangelist, revivalist, author, renowned minister of God, and one of God's generals, C.S. Up the Grove. For 68 years, he has been preaching the gospel all over the world. Born into a humble family in Florida, USA, the second youngest of 21 siblings, he had discovered the direction of his calling from the tender age of 15. Since that time, he has traveled the world with a message of hope and salvation, that Jesus Christ is the healer and deliverer to hundreds of thousands around the globe. During his ministry, countless people have come to the knowledge of God's saving grace through the anointing of God upon his life. Numerous people have been touched, healed, delivered, and blessed through the powerful ministry God has given him. Now 83, he is still active in the ministry and is dedicated to reaching as many souls for Christ as he can. Evangelist C.S. Up the Grove has also received various awards. At the age of 80, he received an award in honor, appreciation, and celebration of his commitment, covenant, and excellence. Respected for his contribution to the body of Christ, for his faithfulness to his calling, Evangelist C.S. Up the Grove has been recognized, honored, and presented with this award. God's General. In commemoration of his 80 years in kingdom service, and his dedication, he was given the Living Legend Award. When you do what God has put in your heart to do, you will make a difference in your world. God's General C.S. Up the Grove is truly one with a difference. This is Evangelist C.S. Up the Grove, and my biggest advice to you is to keep watching Emmanuel TV. God will bless you for that. Amen. Uh, you know, I knew William Branham. I knew Jack Coe. I knew Oral Roberts. I knew these men. I go all the way back to the Voice of Healing days. And, and I knew all of the signs, the wonders. I've been in their services and I've rejoiced. I've been with Catherine Kuhlman. I've seen so many. But listen, everything that I'm seeing in the ministry right now of, of Prophet Joshua supersedes anything that I have seen under those ministries. It, it's a greater measure and it's exactly what Brother Allen said would happen. Emmanuel. I want to praise God for this privilege. I'm 83 years of age. <clears throat> Been married 61 years to the same wife. Four children, two boys and two girls, and my oldest girl is here with me, Brenda. And I'm walking on holy ground. <clears throat> Many years ago, when I was working with great men of God like A.A. A. Allen, William Branham, Oral Roberts, R.W. Schambach, great men of the past, and God gave me an opportunity to stand on their shoulders. And I was riding one day in the automobile with A.A. A. Allen. And he looked over at me and he said, Brother Up the Grove, I may not be living when this comes to pass but I believe you will. And he began to describe this place. He began to talk about a man that would walk out under the anointing and the power 
of the Almighty God. He further described all of the miracles that I have witnessed since I have been here. On Thursday, when the wise men began to minister, I couldn't help but sit there and weep because of the fulfillment of the prophecy that the man of God had given me. A. A. Allen said, Brother Up the Grove, there will be a multitude of people from all over the world that will hear simultaneously. And this was before, many years before, we have the technology that we have now. There was no internet. There was nothing like we know now in the way of modern technology. And when he further began to tell me about the anointing and the power that was going to come upon such men as Prophet T.B. Joshua, <clears throat> in the middle 60s, 1966, he began to describe to me the mannerism in which the Spirit of the Lord would fall. And when I walked in this place and the Spirit of the living God witnessed to me and said, you are walking on holy ground. <laughs> Brother Allen furthermore said to me, he said, Brother Up the Grove, when you see this began to happen, know that the time is near to the making up of the bride without spot and without wrinkle. When the man of God told me personally as I would move in the spiritual realm and see these things come to pass, that God would make provision for me to be there and to see it for myself. And I want to thank God for the privilege of the way being made for me to be in this place right now. And ever since I've been here, uh, I remembered when I first saw on Emmanuel television this man of God as he began to move in supernatural realms saw the prophecies that came to pass. Make no mistake about it. You're living in the presence of a mighty prophet sent from God. God said to me, as I was watching this man on a manual television, he said, this is my prophet. And he said, I am establishing around the world 12 appointed apostles and prophets. And God said to me, T.B. Joshua, will be one of the 12 prophets. That God will establish around the entire world. When God told me that, I said, oh Lord, make a way for me. <laughs> I wanna be there. And then a telephone call was made and I'll never forget how elated I was when they came and said, the prophet said, you're to come to Nigeria. And now that I am in Nigeria, I'm beginning to see and remember the things that the prophet told me about so many years ago. 
when I was 29 years old, my hair was blonde. And I went on a 21 day fast. And in that fast, God began to talk to me about the last days and the ministries of the last times. I found myself under a big oak tree in the middle of that fast. And a bright light began to shine through that oak tree. And as the light came closer and closer, shimmers of light coming through the oak tree formed into an angel of God about 12 feet tall. When I saw this awesome, beautiful thing from heaven, I fell face forward. I fainted. The first thing I remember was a gentle touch on the top of my blonde hair when I was 29. And a voice said, fear not. Now, when an angel says, fear not, the fear is gone. And I found myself standing erect, looking up into the eyes of this beautiful angel. His voice was as the voice of many waters. His eyes were like flames of fire, much like the description in Revelation. He said, my son, the father sends this message. Thou shalt go forth and I will go before thee. I will direct thy path. I will make a way where there seemeth not to be a way. I, the Lord, will go before thee and there will be a special anointing in your right hand. You will see signs, wonders, and miracles like never before. And before the angel was through talking, all of a sudden I noticed that I was not looking up at him any longer. I was face to face with this beautiful angel. I didn't understand it. But when he finished giving me the message, he raised his hand and left much like he came back through the big oak tree and the shimmering lights and left and went back to heaven. When I looked down, my feet were not on the ground. I had risen to the height of the angel. And then slowly, I came back down to the earth. In a few short days, my hair changed to the color that you see right now. And then when the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me about what he uses to prove that he has power. I said, Lord, tell me more. What do you use to prove that you have power? And when I saw Prophet T.B. Joshua using water, I said, that's one of them. I said, God can use water. (laughs) Hallelujah. And then God spoke to me. He said, I can use a stick in the hands of a man called Shamgar. 600 Philistines were slain with nothing more than an ox goad. That's just a a stick that he used to control the oxen. And he slew 600 Philistines. God said, I can use a stone. And he used a stone in the sling of David to slay a giant. God used the stone underneath the head of the prophet of God that had a vision and angels ascending and descending all the way to heaven. And then God said, I can use less than that. I can use nothing more than a dried up bone. So God took a man that had been slain on the battlefield and he was thrown in on the grave of Elisha. 
And when his dead body touched the dried up bones of Elisha, he sprang to life again. <clears throat> if anyone asks you, what does God use to prove that he has power? You tell them that I said, God uses sticks and stones and dead men's bones. So if God can use sticks and stones and dead men's bones to prove that he has power, he can use me and he can use you. <clears throat> One man formed nothing more than a shadow and the shadow touched the sick and the sick was healed. One man just stretched forth his hand. And the spoken word healed the sick. A great man of stature in the word of God came to Jesus and he said, My servant lieth home sick unto death. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. He said, no, Master, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof, but speak the word only. There is power in the spoken word. I call that spoken word faith. One of the greatest kind of faiths that God uses, and I love this, is touching faith. One woman that had an issue of blood, no help until she said within herself, the answer to your problems could be within yourself. If I can but touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. I call that touching faith. Will you say touching faith? But the greatest faith that I have ever become acquainted with comes from Hebrews 11 and 1. The Bible said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I call it now faith. Yeah. Most of you are here today because you need a miracle now. Yeah. How many need a miracle now? Now faith. When prophet Joshua walked out here, and God shows him that people need miracles now. They need deliverance now. Haya. Glory. I prayed and I asked God. I said, Lord, reveal to me, please, what can I do to help your people who need help so desperately? Thank God for men like Prophet Joshua that God uses to help millions become liberated. Amen. Please hear this little story, it will bless you. There was a pilot of an airplane. He was a young Christian pilot. They were stationed overseas near a large river that is called Snake River. The reason they called it Snake River was because there were so many snakes of every kind in that river. And one day the sirens blew and the young pilot knew he had to run, jump in his aircraft and meet the enemy. But when he started to get into the airplane, there was a long boa constrictor laying in the path. He said, Snake, 
I don't have time for you now. And he jumped over the snake, jumped into the cockpit, and took off. But when the plane became airborne, he couldn't retract his landing gear. That is, the wheels would not come back up into position. And he said, that snake has wound itself up in those wheels and I can't retract them. Therefore, I won't be able to go fast enough to repel the enemy that's coming. So he said, God, I need a miracle now. He was about to manifest now faith. Everybody say, now faith. Now faith. Now, right, now. right now. He said, Lord, help me now. And then he remembered immediately a story. His father had him in the woods when he was only 12 years old. And his father said, son, what do you see? He said, dad, there's trees everywhere. He said, look higher, son. Way up on top of the mountain, what do you see? He said, there's no trees growing on top of the mountain. Son, do you know why? No, dad, I don't know why. He said, because trees have to have oxygen to live. He said, when the air gets too thin, trees will die. He said, now, more than that, it's interesting to note that when you get above that tree line, even snakes can't live because they have to have oxygen. He said, thank you, Dad. And he pulled back on the stick, and he got above the snake line, and the snake fell out dead. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me, and I feel his anointing now. And I feel the glory all around me. The Lord said, my people are living below the snake line. My people need to get above the snake line. Anything below the snake line, I can tell you what they are. Worry below the snake line. Frustration aggravation, irritation, aches, pains, trouble, sorrow, tears, fears, discontentment, all kinds of problems when you're living below the snake line. But if you will pray and the Holy Spirit of God will come upon you, you will rise up above the snake line. We call it the Shekinah glory realm. And what I have felt from the time I have stepped into this place was God's Shekinah glory. Thank God, Prophet T.B. Joshua is living above the snake line. Thank God he is teaching me and you how to live above the snake line. I want to mention one more thing about the snake line. Anything between you and God is your God. I will repeat that. Anything between you and God is your God. But when you get into the glory realm, everybody say glory realm. Glory. When you get into the glory realm, Everything else is forgiven. And as the prophet told us this morning, you are free. Yeah. Hallelujah. And when you, are, ha, when you are free and the glory and the presence of the almighty God is all around you and all over you, you get above the snake line and live in his glory. How many? Yeah. Ah. This will make an old man shout. Hallelujah. This will make a sick man get well. This will make somebody bound be free. 
simply by getting above that snake line. Everybody say, praise the Lord. When God made it possible for me to come see the prophet, he spoke to me to bring something with me to put into the hands of the prophet. And just before I left to come here, the Lord said, write something down. I'm going to give you a prophecy, and you can find it for me here. And I wrote this to the prophet before getting on the plane. Behold, my son, I speak to you in this very hour. A door will be open to you like never before. <laughs> Thou hast asked, and I have heard thy prayer. I have begun to prepare dignitaries from around the world to accept thy vision. From this very hour, you are appointed as one of the 12 prophets that I will establish around the world to, to usher in the bride of Christ without spot or wrinkle. Thou hast truly followed the example of my own son. When you bless the sick and the poor and you have done it, then unto me. I will restore everything that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar and the locust hath eaten away, even to the bark of the tree. You will see my hand move not many days hence. You are my end time messenger and appointed prophet for this hour to usher in the bride of my son, thus saith the Lord God. This was written and prophesied before I arrived and before some of the prophecies came to pass that the prophet prophesied after I got here. I thank God I'm walking on holy ground. <clears throat> the Lord said, furthermore, I want you to give to my prophet some pictures that was made in Miracle Valley, Arizona, which was the home of the late great A.A. A. Allen. I'm holding before me his offices in 1966 and the beautiful mountains of Miracle Valley, Arizona. And then another picture of Brother Allen's Miracle magazine that he published in 1964. This is me on this side. My sister is in the middle and my wife is on this end. We were in the A.A. A. Allen Great Healing Tent Revival, a tent that was larger than a football field and about the size of this sanctuary that we're in now. And my sister had a twisted back from polio, one hip higher than the other. And the man of God, A.A. A. Allen, laid his hand on her. She fell in the sawdust and she stood up as straight as I am. And that's why that picture and that story was in that magazine. Here is a picture of Brother A.A. A. Allen at Christmas time in 1966. And uh, that is his sister standing there. And this is Brother Up the Grove here with the white coat. And my wife is next to me. And Brother Allen enjoying the Christmas dinner. And the other picture that goes along with that is one of the gifts that Brother Allen received. He was receiving a brand new suitcase to keep traveling for Jesus, and he did as long as he lived. Now, I'll show you a picture that you won't hardly believe. Thank you. 
This is me at Miracle Valley when I'm 38 years old and I'm on Brother Allen's horse. This is A.A. Allen's horse in Miracle Valley, and that's me on the horse. Soon after I left the valley, I felt the anointing so great in my life until I was preaching in Detroit, Michigan, where I went for a two weeks revival that lasted three and one half years. And in the middle of that revival, while I was preaching, someone took a picture and I was preaching on Elijah and the whirlwind of fire that took him up to meet the chariot. And here is a picture of me and the whirlwind of fire actually surrounding me and I felt like I was going to lift off that stage. And this was in Detroit, Michigan, 1968. To show you, God can use anybody, anywhere, at any time that will pay the price to get above the snake line. <clears throat> this is a personal letter that I received from Brother A.A. A. Allen back in 1965 when he was in the Philippine Islands inviting me to come and be pastor of the Miracle Valley Church. And I have something very special in my hand that I'm going to present to the prophet in just a moment. And he's coming now. <laughs> this is something that I've treasured for a long time. As I told you back in 1965, 66, 67, there was nothing ever heard of like a computer or modern technology. Everything had to be done the hard way. So Brother Allen went out and had a rubber stamp made with his name on it. This is Brother Allen's personal stamp, rubber stamp. His name is inscribed on here, and they made a rubber stamp just like his signature. And I have watched this man of God. He felt to answer every letter personally. Thousands of letters came in. And Pastor, I can see him yet reading those letters and stamping with this very stamp, letter after letter after letter after letter. And when it was presented, ha, whew, I can feel it now. When it was presented to me, I said, the spirit of the Lord is still in that stamp. God can use anything. I told you, he used sticks, stones, dead men's bones. He uses water. He uses shadows. And God used this stamp in the hands of A.A. A. Allen. And when it was passed to me, I treasured this and I kept it. My children said, leave it to us, Dad. I said, no, this is not for the inheritance of the children. This is to pass on to another prophet of God. So, Bishop, it is my pleasure to present to you this stamp. God bless you. <laughs> and I think there's only one, one more thing. Uh, uh, this is Brother Allen's obituary at his funeral and everything in there concerning his passing. He really died too young. He was only 59 years old, 59. But he did great works while he was yet alive. But I want to thank God, this man is not dead, he's alive. And the God within him is very alive. And the works that you see now is just the beginning of what you will see, I promise.
Well, I'm shy. <laughs> you have listened to our grandpa. Uh, we have read so much about uh, A. Allen, God General, son of the great in the century. Those who humble themselves under Jesus Christ have taken the best, best source to secure themselves. All this can only be achieved when we humble ourselves under Jesus for supervision and victory. Because it is his ways that establishes. It is his way that builds. Thank you very much. Are you seeing what is in my hands? What is this? Obituary of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And even inside here, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't worry, this is the key. Amen. Inside here is one of the pictures. Hallelujah. Amen. Of C.S. after growth and Prophet T.B. Joshua. Hallelujah. If you look at this picture very well, you will see he was a global picture. He was a global man. He was all nations man. Hallelujah. He was all nations man and he left a legacy. He left a legacy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a quotation here. It says, the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that I would leave it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You look at a global, amen. You look at a global thing. It was a prophet of all nations. All nations. Praise the Lord. And C.S. Abtegrof says he waited on God because the man of God, A.A. Allen, instructed him that there will be a great man that will move with the greatest supernatural. He says he has gone to Oral Roberts meetings. He has gone to God's General's meetings, including Catherine Kuhlman. But the Nothing, praise the Lord, is compared to what our Father in the Lord was doing. It supersedes everything that all God's generals were doing. <laughs> praise the Lord, up to now, up to now. Lift your hands up. You could be the one getting the mantle now. The mantle of this God's general, Prophet T.P. Joshua, you could be the one who is going to do great things that will supersede every other God's general activities. Miracles, signs and wonders. I believe in this congregation today, God is pointing at you and me to take over the legacy of these great servants of God today with the global G and master G. Hallelujah. We will never be the same. Put your hands down. I have two. I have one in my bedroom and I have like this. Until two days ago, I discovered this one was in the office. And so, the Lord of hosts told me, pick it out. I put it on the table. But when the keys, when these keys, praise the Lord, when the prophetic keys were being done and manufactured, God told me, put them inside. Why? When you watch it, you say, celebrating the life and the legacy of Prophet T.B. Joshua.
praise the Lord. I was in the hotel and the Lord told me to come back and pick this. Because I was like, everybody is throwing. So me, I also left my mind. I didn't throw, but every, I left my mind. He told me to come and pick this. Because whoever that will have this basket, this basket, there is going to be a provision forever. And forever it is anointed. I told Pastor Marian, eh, I have to go back and pick this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I picked. One is in my house. And one I brought one to the church. You know, it is almost one year down the line. It is going to be just early June. We are already in May. God knows why we are celebrating his life before even the anniversary. This is very prophetic. Appreciate the Lamb of God. Not everybody's anniversary can be celebrated. But this man changed lives. He changed nations. He changed the world. We are celebrating his anniversary because the spirit of Elijah in him is transferred and will be transferred today to you. Amen. Give Jesus your praise. Oh. Hallelujah! There was a man that loved God so much. And this man worked so much and very hard as a servant of another man. For many years, this man worked and worked very hard and toiled and toiled and this until he was very old. Patiently, with great loyalty, Elijah served Elijah for many years. Very many years. By the time the mantle, praise the Lord, the mantle of Elijah was touching Elisha. Hallelujah. Look at me, son. I say, look at me. Lift your hands up. By the time the mantle was touching Elijah, it was power. Come, right here. Can I have somebody behind me? Can I have two, three people? By the time I'll throw these mantles, if it touches you, fine. If it doesn't touch you, you just collect it. Hallelujah. By the time the mantle of Elijah was touching Elisha, he knew it was power that changed hands instantly. Power will change hands for your life, for your generation, for your family today. I am a child of prophet T.B. Joshua and I know what is in this man. Hallelujah! C.S. God's general C.S. up the grove referencing God's general A.A. Allen. What does it mean? In an altar of the Emmanuel TV referencing his father in the Lord. What does it mean? It is meaning what I am doing right now. That anointing is transferable. It doesn't matter how long it has stayed, but anointing is transferable. Took 12 oxen. A kachinja yo 12 oxen. Completely ndume kumina mbili. Kila kitu biashara yake. Finish. It was not a joke. Because power exchanged hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. 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 And by the time this man was going to the Lord. Me minasema anointing is transferable. And the power of God is going to be transferred. Amen. I will take my time transferring. Because I have preached the gospel. And I preached it very well. I am not going to preach for more than 10 minutes. So pay attention. Elisha was the master to Elisha. Elisha served Elijah faithfully for many years. Many years, many years. Just as 
Reverend Abde Grove served A.A. A. Allen for many years. He said he walked on the shoulders of this great man as an Aaron, as an Aaron for many, many years, as a Joshua for many, many years, withholding nothing, faithfully serving God. Today, this anointing will come to you because you are faithful, only faithfulness. Prophet T.B. Joshua talked about faithfulness severally. You look at the end of it all. He's saying all this has happened for the glory of God. And he said anybody that has humbled himself under the mighty power of God can also work in signs and wonders and miracles. He made sure that all the glory goes to the honor. Nothing withholding, nothing. What a servant. What a humble servant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands down. I'm almost finishing. When I tell you raise your hands up, you'll pick the card. And it's not a normal card. Until I show it everything here. Praise the Lord. Elijah was told, was, Elijah was told by other prophet, do you know your master will be taken today? He said, shut up. I know. Please be silent. I know it. How can I fail to know? I have worked for many years, waiting for my time, not one year, no two years, for many years, or for 20 years, faithfully waiting for God to remember me. How can I not know? I am the one who has suffered. You are not the one who has suffered. I am making sure every day. Praise the Lord. If you look at the chapters, as the children of Israel was looking for a prophet, they say there is one, Elijah, son of Shaphat, that was washing the hands of Elijah. Washing the hands of Elijah. Every day making sure his hands were washed, his feet were washed. Elijah was very old, very old. Eve, Elijah was cold-headed. By the time he was receiving this anointing, Elijah was more than double bald headed. Finished, there was no hair in Elijah. Hello, praise the Lord. I am talking with great revelation tonight and today. If you go to Elijah's places in Mount Carmel, there are places you will see he's a bald headed man. Bald headed old man. And so by the time his master was being taken, striking the road Jordan River, he said, I will not leave you as long as you live, as long as the Lord God Almighty lives, and as long as your soul lives, I will not leave you, Elijah. They walked through Bethel, they walked through Jericho, they were going now to Jordan. He was told, Tarry here. He said, I will not tarry. Why should I tarry you? Inside, I have served you faithfully. I must get your double portion. I know you see my thoughts. I know you read me. I know you are a prophet. I know you are a prophet. I know you are a prophet. And I know you see what I am seeing. I don't know what is ailing you. I don't know what is ailing you. I don't know what is ailing you. I don't know what you are looking for. This morning with God. But God knows everything through his prophets. Hallelujah. <coughs> Crossing the river Jordan. And they pop the chariots of the almighty God. And the horses on chariots. Listen, I am not talking out of the blues. I have seen chariots of fire. Physically, I have seen my eyes. I have seen and they come up. And they are not a scenery that you watch. And you just keep quiet. No. They are not a small scenery. They are engulfed with a terrifying fire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Boom, they came. And this man was like, oh, I wish my father, my father. I did not know it was like that. I am very sure he fell off. He fell off the ground as 
the man of God, C.S. Aptogroff, say, when this angel appeared, he fell off and he was face down. Hallelujah. Amen. You see this description of that angel is the description of the angel of the Lord and it is Jesus Christ himself. That angel has a description of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When people talk of the supernatural, those some of us that God, hallelujah, has given our spiritual eyes to impact the supernatural, do be a beholder of the Shekinah glory, life, life, every day. The Shekinah glory that the man of God is talking about is in this sanctuary, and not only sanctuary, I behold it every moment of my life. Every day, I behold the Shekinah glory, the physical manifestation of the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Chief Jesus, your praise. Amen. Invitation is allowed. Invitation is allowed. Revelation chapter 11, verse 3. It says in the last days, two witnesses will arise and these two witnesses are the carriers of the mosaic anointing and number two they are carriers of the spirit and the power of elijah they are in this house today you see after grove told prophet Timothy joshua that he is going to us in the end time army we are part of this army end time army carriers of the spirit and the power of elijah look here this man of God, Prophet Tibi Joshua, was the carrier of the spirit and the power of Elijah. He said, Paul, in Jerusalem, by the time Israel knew, everybody was coming, almost everybody of the world was coming, traveling to Tel Aviv in Israel. And they were like, hey, who is this man? The world is coming here. They started, you know, Freak, you know, for, you know, the, defending their nation. By, by the end of it all, we were there and the nations, all nations were presented. And Jesus Christ in Shim, Prophet B. Joshua said, come and take the impartation of Abraham. Praise the Lord. Amen. This kid today has been transferred by a man that was having Abrahamic anointing. And it is going to be transferred to your life. Amen. Look at the key. Elisha. Elisha said, I am a f I, I cannot miss it. I have paid the price. I can't miss it. I've waited on you, Lord. I have paid the price. By the time he was picking the mantle, praise the Lord. Amen. He was picking the mantle of Elijah. There was a lot of anger in him. Holy anger. There was a lot of frustrations because he was frustrated all over. He was frustrated not in Bethel, not in Jericho, not in... But until he reached... By the time he was picking the mantle and the mantle came to for him, he was frustrated. The Spirit of God revealed to me today by the time he was reaching the Jordan River, he hit and he struck the waters the way his master was struggling. And the water went this way and this way. Passed through. Because the anointing was weighty on him. And it's going to be weighty for you today. Amen. It is going to be weighty. Make no mistake. This is a weighty anointing. It is going, it's known as the weighted glory. The weighted glory. By the time two or a few children, they say, children came mocking him. And the Lord revealed to me that it was not children. It was Satan himself deposited in children. Hey, look at you. You are bald-headed. You think you can serve God? You have very few many years. You have just a few years. A few, a few years. Bald-headed. Bald-headed. Satan was calling Elijah. Satan was calling Elisha through children. Through children. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because the anointing was too much, 
too much on him. He did not know what to do with it. He thought it was just like, he say, I curse you in the name of the Lord. Just like that. And things became haywire. The children were consumed and they died and they were fragmented in the stomachs of, 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 of bears. Hallelujah. Why he never knew how to conduct this anointing? Today, please, you receive this anointing. Go slowly. Go slow. Don't be quick in cursing somebody. Praise the Lord. This anointing does not work with curses. The chi you are receiving today, it does not work with curses. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So that when you receive the chi, don't be quick to curse. Leave vengeance to God. Amen. You will leave vengeance to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want us to see what God transferred to me. Yes, Prophet TV Joshua was revealed to me by Jesus Christ himself. I've been in synagogue close to around 18 times. 18 times. Praise the Lord. I don't forget the times because every time you go there, something must happen. And no small things. This time, December, when we were just going for the half year, I was like, I, he mambo ya commemoration na memory. And we see, 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 see our kalenji. Mungu akaniambia na utaenda. Remember what you are Kufa. Ah, Mutu Aki Kufa, Ame Kufa. Sasa ni spirit yake tu. Wacha yendele kufanya kasi. Bonesha sive. And I was just waiting for nothing for the, for the triple portion. I didn't see it, Pastor Emmanuel. I worked, I was like, when I was there now, Mimi ndio nilikuwa intercessor. Kabisa. Ni naona mambo ile watu waende. So I ended up interceding. Interceding and interceding. And so by the time you were entering the, 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 the mausoleum, that was the last time. You go there the last time. I noticed something very peculiar. I was carrying the spirit of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. And, the, and you would say his strength was, he derived a lot of satisfaction when there is, when there is storm. When he's passing through persecution, Prophet T.B. Joshua derived a lot of strength. Why? He was an eagle. Amen. You've heard of eagles, praise the Lord. Amen. They derive a lot of strength and satisfaction when the enemy is trying to shake them. Hallelujah. Amen. Have we been teaching about eagles? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know he's an eagle because my eyes were opening and I would see him face to face and I was not seeing a man, I was seeing an ego. I'm like, Jesus, today, rescue me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because he asked me a question, I'm very, and there was no smile. There was no smile in the question. You mean you love Kenya more than your children? In the eyes were on me. And I could not see a man. I saw a physical ego in a man. I never saw a man again. And when he examined me, and he saw that God had sent me from Kenya, akanyamasa, lakini akasunguka hapo tu, akipena anointing, atoki hapo, mbaka mimi nimesema leo, kwisha, ile fire ilikuwa around hapo, it was not a joke. Listen to me. Loyalty, loyalty is required. Truth is required in the transfer of this key. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In a few minutes times, lasima tutubu. Lasima tutubu. If you are a person that backstabs people, you know me, black is black and white is white. Kama mtoto mdogo, buwana yesu asivye. Lakini kuna watu wana nyamasa, lakini wana shida. Sawa. Amen. Lakini misi nyamasi sana na shida. Lasima niseme hii ni mbaya, hii ni msuri. Kwa sababu ndani yangu, hiko mtoto mdogo, hallelujah, rea roo mtakatifu. Appreciate the Lamb of God. I am almost finishing. A Sony Kiwan Deken, Dania, Barra, Africa, Kati Kati, Africa, Kule Chuya, Africa. My heart was just very peaceful. And I was like, Jesus, thank you, Lord, for giving me a chance to come here. As I was thanking the Lord, 
Dishki. Dishki. Praise the Lord. I hope everybody is seeing. Are you seeing the key? Hallelujah. Dishki. Dishki was transferred to me. Poch yake ni hile uliko umeona ya after growth. Brown and old. And the key was a golden key. Old, very, very old, but golden key. And the porch was very old, but, but brown leather. And Jesus made sure I watched it. And I heard him say, it has been transferred from one man to another man. One man to another man. It was placed in my shoulders. And before the key landed on my shoulders, because I'm no longer, praise the Lord, a child in receiving keys. It was placed in my right shoulder. I held it like this. <laughs> so that somebody does not take it again. And I felt like heaven. I felt like heaven. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because of time, you look at the key. Right at the key, you see Africa. At the tip of the key, you see what? Africa. Top of Africa is Egypt. Egypt, Namibia, on the top of Africa. At the town of Africa is South Africa, Southern Africa. Across Africa is Nigeria. Parallel to Nigeria is Kenya. That is going all the way is Kenya. And so the Southern Africa down there, praise the Lord. This is Southern Africa. You will see South Africa, Swaziland. Including the islands of Africa. At the peak, at the tip of this key. Meaning, Prophet Jesus was in Africa and Jesus was born in Africa. And that is why the key was given to Elijah. And God, I asked God, why is it? He said, Jesus was born in Africa, in Egypt. Hello. Praise the Lord. If you look at the chi, you see global, global. I show you, I show you. Lika siyakeni global. It impacts lives, nations. If you look at the chi, down the chi, praise the Lord. You see the world wipe map of the world. Inside there, you see South America. You see North America. You see Ireland. You see, you see Spain, you see Australia, that big part is Australia. If you look at this key, these are punched holes. We tried our best. All these holes are in millions. Me? Millions and trillions. I saw trillions and trillions. These are prophet TV Joshua's children. Why he was transferring the Abrahamic anointing? Abraham was told, Abraham, and for you, Abraham, nations will respect you. And your seed, you will have the seed as, as the sand in the ocean. Stars. It's all, it's all, look at the stars of the heavens. Look at the stars of the heavens, Abraham. You will have spiritual children like that. And so by the time the man of God was telling us, come to Nazareth. Why I know him? Through Jesus, I know him. Every word he speaks are few, but every word must happen. Why he was walking with the spirit of Elijah? These are burning stars. These are burning stars. And today you are one of his stars. And you belong to the lineage of prophet T.B. Joshua. You see, there are fivefold ministries. There is an apostolic, there is a prophetic, evangelistic, there are pastors, there are teachers. But in our case, with the Shekinah glory, we are a prophetic church. And we belong to a prophetic tree of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. And these people are revolutions. If you look like our mother in the Lord, Maria Woodward, hallelujah, was a revolutionary. The revolution of Pentecost 
could only happen through her. There is a revolution today in the house of God. You are a carrier of this key. You are a carrier in a, in a few minutes I'm, I will tell you what and how to use the key. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Find the ones they are shining stars. You are a star. You are a star. Let us look at the bigger star of Prophet B. Joshua. Let us look at the bigger star of Prophet B. Joshua. If you look at the star of Jesus Christ, it is 14 pointed. But inside the star of Jesus Christ is a circle. In this circle, praise the Lord, is a kind of glory circle. It's blueprint. Inside this circle also are burning furnaces in the altars of of his servants, the prophets, they also circle. That is a burning furnace. That red there is a burning furnace. And that is the star of Prophet T.B. Joshua. I was waiting for God and God told me, you saw him going and the star came and protected your back. For spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers, we protect your back. When you put on the whole armor of God, God does not give you the back armor. The helmet of salvation, everything else. But in your back, you have spiritual parents. And that is why that was coming through my back and was covering me with my recalia. I saw in the spiritual realm. When he went to be with the Lord, Satisha, Akienda, Nanikasike, Dunia, Mushi, Manifaya, Tanda, lightning, sounds of many waters. Thunderbolt and thunderbolt, I was like Jesus. I thought I was just being visited supernaturally. I did not know it is my father in the Lord that was being taken to heaven. Until Saini Asbui. Saini Asbui Sunday. Watu wale shindu wa wataniambia na mnakani. Kwa sababu nilikuwa kwa maombi. Bwana Yesu asivye. Now, listen very carefully. That is a star. It has a key. And this is the master key. That star is a prophetic star, and this is the master key. Amen. For the star of Bethlehem, it is because of time, star of Bethlehem is 14 pointed, and inside the star of Bethlehem is a circle. You see that circle? You see that inside the star of Bethlehem is a circle, and that is where the altar is. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you look at this altar, hallelujah. At the top of the altar. At the top of. The altar. Hallelujah. Yes. At the top of this altar. This is the now revelation. At the top of this altar is round. At the top of this altar is round. And I've always seen the throne of mercy and grace. In living water here. Living water, including even honey, when we are giving out honey, inside here. Praise the Lord. Why is it a circle? Why is it a circle? Because when the colors of the earth, yellow, green, come together, they form a circle. And inside that circle is a blueprint. Shekinah glory. Out of this circle, he created other circle. Like a titan is orange circle. This color, this color, this is an oracle color. That round is an oracle altar. It can only come from the spirit and the fire of Elijah. Are we getting it? Say thank you Jesus. Deep calls upon deep at the water walls of God. So the golden key, praise the Lord. The golden key. Say the golden key. The golden key goes together with that oracle anointing. And so see this key is called global prophetic oracle master key. You can have your shortcut and call it the global prophetic key. But it is a master key. Yeah. I cannot come from all wells of God and draw something like this one. I cannot come. Praise the Lord. Amen. So today you are having your own master key. Amen. Now, 
instruction number one repent number two leave familiarity it goes with faithfulness number three this has been necessitated because people must watch the tvs in kenya it has it is not given just like empty handed i gave you envelopes for the first time in my life seven years i have never given an envelope one to one because i fear god and i fear mbekumbekus this key is not for free when you partake of this key you become like the shunamite there is going to be multiplication in your household that is why it's not for free god needed a prophet in the, the spirit of the sovereign lord entered into anna anna negotiated and say i'll give you this child give me and i will give you and god saw a deal he say the deal is done you give me the child i will open your womb now because i am the one who closed your womb why i saw greatness in you and i saw your star as an intercessor i knew you will bring out my samuel you will bring out my samuel because you are an intercessor you're a diligent woman hallelujah do i have intercessors in the house of god your womb may have been closed by god your trouble may have been caused by god today by the chi the master key praise the lord you're going to negotiate for your samuel you are going to negotiate for your samuel today you will negotiate praise the lord for your samson you will negotiate for your john the baptist you will negotiate for your promised child Today you will have your Isaac. Whether you believe me or not, I am a child of a great prophet. God's general prophet to be Joshua. I am an oracle of Shekinah, certified in heaven. I was anointed as an apostle in heaven. I was ordained as an apostle in heaven. By God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, prophet to be Joshua, looking everything. I am here as an oracle, certified oracle, certification oracle. What I say will never miss. I speak in the altar of Prophet Dibi Joshua, in this pulpit of Prophet Dibi Joshua today, that your life must change for the glory of God. I say for the glory of God, your life must change only, only for the glory of God. Let us negotiate. Let us reason together. You need this child very dangerously. I need your child to use. To bring sanity in the land of Israel. Sanity in Kenya. Sanity where apostles are calling themselves apostles. There they are apostles of Satan. Wickedness in the church. Witchcraft everywhere. This must stop with you today. Hello. The man of Galilee died on the cross. This cross here. I was told that this cross is you. Now, damu ya Yesu ikitirireka. Utakunywa damu ya Yesu pia leo. Na utapanda kwa hii matabaha. Pada ya weo kupanda hii matabao. Na wengine wapanda next Sunday in a close year for three months. Use your time. Because this altar is available for you now. Praise the Lord. Kama kuna watu walienda synagogue na wakabarikiwa including me wewe lazima ubarikiwe leo Hallelujah The gospel of God is power if it is not power forget it if it wasn't power i would not be preaching it is power praise the lord Hallelujah Lift your hands up and say lord god of elijah say oh lord god of elijah rescue me by fire Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord say, you are under the rock. Amen. And the rock is higher than you. Amen. You are under the rock. And the rock is higher than you. Hidden in the blood of the Lamb today. Your time has come. You may be hungry. You have waited, I know. I know you are hungry. I know acidity is tall on you.
hungry. By the time this prophetic key enters into you, hunger in a severe disease must disappear. This is the key of the double portion. It is a master key. By the time Elijah was receiving it, there was a double portion. The river Jordan, akuna kitu itakusuya. Healing is your portion. Curses are breaking right now. Multiplications of the blessing of God. The power of resurrection is your portion. Revival fire is on your portion. You revive everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And for next week, we will discuss the essence of this key. The functions of this key. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Created by the image and the likeness of God. You have smart heads. If you came to the house of God, you are smart men and you are smart women. Congratulations. You are a carrier of the anointing. And this anointing must change lives. I saw, behold, I saw the enemy that has been sitting on our money destroyed by this key. Destroyed totally. You see, Tanda, Tanda Lord, Tanda, Tanda Lord, Tanda, Tanda Lord. Nikaona ya pili project ambaye imeka. Project ambaye imechelewesha. Kumbe ni shetani anachelewesha. Yesu akanichukua mpaka Mount Sinai. Akaniambia ingisha kifungo ndani kwa kaka. Nikamwambia kwani ilikuwa rais hivyo tu. Akasema with this key, kila kitu ni rais. Kila kitu ni rais. This is an eagle ski. So for you as an eagle, you must have the duplicate of this key. Did you realize it? An eagle is somebody walking with a prophetic anointing. You do not have to prophesy blah, blah, blah. No, but you, as long as you are an eagle in this ministry, you are a carrier of this key. Every prophet must have a key. Appreciate Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you ready? I don't want you to be in a hurry. Anointed water, praise the Lord. Anointed water will be given first. Because I don't want you to be in a hurry with me today. This is not for hurrying. I gave you an envelope. Seven years part of ministry once. And you don't write even on your envelope. Hallelujah. That's why people are blessed in this ministry. They give to God. They don't give to men. But I gave you an envelope. Physically. On 29th, praise the Lord of this month, Sunday, you bring your envelope to me physically. I will collect your envelope physically. Inside your envelope, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Inside your envelope, Hallelujah. Amen. Today you are collecting this card. Amen. And this card is having the master key. It's having what? Master key. Behind the card, kun anointing pictures of Shekinah glory. Mchawi ashiki ikadi. Kun arrow fires, the Holy Ghost anointing, kun a blueprint, kun the Lion of Judah and the Lamb of God. This is your card. The first request is my Samuel. I promise you two months ago. You write your Samuel. Okay, sana na your Samuel. Go to other requests. I will collect the cards on 29th physically. With your envelope. That envelope is for your sacrifice. I know Abraham gave something called a painful sacrifice. But this card was given me to me through love. That offering you are going to give. And that sacrifice is known as the love sacrifice. 
Jesus said, ask them what is in their hearts. I want to bless them. The Shunammite was, and then the, 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 the servant, the woman of servant was asked, please give me. Elijah knew at the soul of Shidayak. I know. He can't eat the soul of Shidayak. Bonesha Shive. Lakini Lashima Ugwe Mwaminifu. Lashima Uinue Mataba. Elijah Ali Nua Mataba. Listen to me, she kind of glory. I could put a A woman came to my office and I was having my salary. And the Lord told me, Yo salary yote iko, iko kwa yo baasha, pena. Nika mambia, court, ni pene. Life, life. Nili sikia rom takatifu. Nika chukua baasha, nika mambia, shika ni meambibu ni pene. Hii salary yote. I knew, Kenya go Marshall Banga ita kosa advance. Sinitarudi tu kuchukua advance. Na nilipe three months. Haka niambia heri wewe unasikia sauti ya rom takatifu. Anaenda kulipa rent yake na kukula nyama. Nika mambia, oi mam, pole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lakini, akani bariki. Akani ambia, na utafika mali sijafika. And you will be the carrier of the Shekinah glory. Hata misu ju Shekinah glory, what was Shekinah glory? Iliboshuka ilikuwa na kitu ngine. Aikuchangi bure. Bwana Yesha shivye. There must be an exchange. Kila kitu, mimi nime udumia kabisa. Kusema kweli mbele ya mungu. I have laid my hands on you. Hata when COVID-19 was there, siche require we kufanya kitu. Hii pesa itakucha physically, iende kwa nyumba ya mungu, ifanye kashi ya mungu, tafadale. Wewe ni mtoto wake, hana mtoto ngine wakufanya kazi, tafadale. So your money is going to water life. It is going to water somebody's life. Praise the Lord. And when somebody's life is watered, God will water your life. Amen. Hallelujah. He ni wewe peke yako na mungu. Bwana Yesu ashivye. Wewe peke yako na? Mimi si mtu akusema kuna kuna vitu vya kumikumi. Kuna vitu ya atausa na tausa. Hapana. Wewe peke yako na mungu. Bwana Yesu ashivye. Hallelujah. So this is the condition. Three days. This week. Fasting. Kunyo chai kabisa. Kunyo liquids. And if you have a medication problems, fine. Three weeks, three days. No, one week, three days. One week, three days. For three weeks. After three weeks, I'll come back with your card and they will be very anointed. Is that okay? Mimi nimesema bahasha yako ni pesa. Ndani ya ile bahasha uweke kadi Bwana Yesu asiwe. Haleluya. Tumesikizana hapo. Amen. When you get your sacrifice by 28 bring this back. Even if you don't get a sacrifice just bring the card like that inside you. You have agreed with God. At a many 3 months or 2 months praise the Lord that the God I will give you something. Hallelujah. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Amen. Pick that one. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Amen. Pick that one. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Amen. Pick that one. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick that one. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Hallelujah. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.